Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We filled this, uh, this Topps Chrome Baseball break pretty quickly. 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball 12-box Hobby Edition. Pick your team number one. They were random teams. Now we turn them into pick your teams. Since we're out of jumbos, we, have, we didn't have any more pick your teams. So there we go. We've got 12-box Hobby. Pick your team number one on the 31st. Already the end of August. John Mordlaro with triple last spot mojo, as you can see. He bought all those three, the final three teams all at once. And there's everyone else. All right, who do I have? Anyone here for this break? Maybe we missed everybody. Well, it's going to happen either way. Oh, no, I think TD was here. TD's was here. He's looking for some, some super fractors. He's got the Cubs and Astros. Auto parts guy, what's going on? Alan Murdoch is here. Oh, Alan's in this break too. He's got Indians, Rockies, Cardinals. Alan, are you looking for anybody in particular? I know TD didn't want that much. TD was just like, all I need is a Alex Bregman Superfractor or a Chris Bryant Superfractor. That's it. Not, not too hard. A lot of baseball happening tonight, folks. We've got only one final score, but a lot of games that are close to finalizing. The Cleveland Indians beat, shut out the, uh, the Rays 3-0. In Cleveland. At the top of the ninth, Yankees now leading the Tigers 7 to 5 in New York. At the end of the ninth inning, Cubs and Phillies are going to get some, uh, I guess, Philly, fans in Philly are going to get some bonus baseball tied at one. Bottom of the ninth. Miami Marlins in their final frame. Down by one to the Blue Jays. They've got a chance to walk it off. Top of the ninth, Pirates in Atlanta. They've got a, Pirates have a 3-2 edge. And so th those are the games that are close. Bottom of the seventh in Kansas City. Royals leading the uh, Orioles 6-2. Oh, man, the, the Diamondbacks already ahead with a... Early 2 nothing lead. And that's my Dodgers. Thankfully, they play... If, if this series goes bad for the Dodgers, at, at least they've got another series with the Diamondbacks at the end of September. In Texas, Rangers down by 2 to the Twins. Twins are leading 8-6. Angels with a 3 nothing lead. In Houston, at the end of the sixth, the Cardinals leading seven comfortably, seven to two, against the Reds at the end of the sixth inning. Cardinals have been just just playing some great baseball. Another game that just started would be uh, the Mariners in Oakland. In Oakland with an early one nothing lead against Seattle. Scoreless in San Diego. Rockies at San Diego. Mets in San Francisco, they're scoreless as well. And that White Sox-Red Sox game delayed. And Red, Red Sox, or White Sox are leading 3-0 in Chicago. And Fernando Romero leads us off. There's our first auto going to John Samuelson and the Twins. 79 out of 4.99. So two autographs per box in the hobby edition of this. Nice Acuna refrain. We'll save one of these for the uh, Braves. Eric Rittenhouse with that one. We'll top load all of those before they get sent out. OK. 
Andrews Morales was on a tear. And Alex Mejia for the Cardinals. That'll be for Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. Always nice to get the first hit out of the way early. There's Richard Urena at a 299 and Jose Abreu. Now, a Yankee, Andrew McCutcheon. Did you guys hear that? I know a lot of you heard that news yesterday. I think that was a pretty solid move. I think people are people are thinking that people are speculating that uh, it looks like Aaron Judge is probably out longer than longer than people may originally thought. Maybe the organization originally thought, which is why they needed McCutcheon. That's good. It's I like Andrew McCutcheon. It'll be cool to see him in the playoffs. All right, Dave No saying he bought the Saints. What in gold standard? Nice. Yeah, we can do that after this break. We're, we're still we're still only at the very beginning of this break. We have we have an hour to go, but that's plenty of time to fill that gold standard break, which we can do right after this. Only I think only what 13, 12, 13 teams left after this. All right, it's a final in New York. The Yankees beat the uh, Tigers seven to. Seven to five. And I think I had the Yankees plus one and a half runs. That's a win for me. All of my other picks are pretty shaky today. <laughs> Blue Jays have to hang on. Cubbies have to win. Actually, no, the Twins are ahead by a couple runs too. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe my day is going to be okay. <laughs> no, I didn't get your super factor yet, TD. See, already already on me, folks, about the superfractor. I was saying earlier in the break, TD, about how like all 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 TD wanted me to do was to get a Chris Bryan or an Alex Redmond superfractor, and we're only on box two. He's just wondering if it popped out in box one. Man, the pressure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like a I'm like a relief pitcher. In a, in a high leverage situation. A lot of pressure. Rory in the house wants to make a run on Cornerstones. Oh yeah, David No went big on this break. He got the Angels straight up. He got the Yankees straight up. Oh, yeah, it's he is like, you know, it's, pulling super practice is nothing to the great Joe, the magic hands. We'll find, I, we do have a lot of boxes to go. It's been a minute or two since we've seen a super fractor. The odds are with us. Yeah, Rory, I would love to make a run on cornerstones today. All right, here we go. Next box. There's Adrian Beltre looking thoughtful, 64 out of 75. There's Marcus Stroman. I think he's coming off the DL soon. And Greg Allen. Greg Allen for Allen. Murdoch and the Indians. All right. Paul Hudson said they need to make vending boxes for breakers, no wrappers. I know they should. Someday, if this, uh, if this crazy case breaking industry keeps growing and has been growing, folks, over the last over the last four years or so that I've been doing this, every year it seems to be growing bigger and bigger. You know, someday we'll get a little more product geared more towards the case breakers, and that'll be pretty good. 
There's Tomas Nito, blue parallel for David Shaw and the Mets. One thirty three out of one fifty. Nice. All right, and Alan, Alan's like, yeah, he's got three teams. Two of the teams have hit already. He's like, I just need the Rockies to get an autograph, and I'll be good. There's Shohei Otani. They're, they're starting him, folks. What does everyone think about that? They're starting him this this Sunday. The Angels have no shot at the playoffs. What's the? I'm not entirely sure what the point is. 43 out of 99. Maybe put butts in seats, but you know, if he plays every day as a hitter, that'll put butts in seats. I'm a little confused. Does anyone have an explanation? Any Angels fans out there? All right, next box. I feel like it's just it's a little unnecessary for him to start. I actually think that Shohei Otani should, especially with the with the elbow issue, the potential Tommy John surgery. To preserve that elbow, you would think maybe limit his innings by having him be like a closer or something. Angels need bullpen help. It'll be cool to see Shohei Otani come out of the bullpen with some some uh I don't know what kind of what kind of music he'd use, but he'd run in, get the save. He could he could he could hit the game winning home run at the top of an inning and then get the save at the bottom of the inning. Something like that, vice versa. You could hit the game winner at the bottom of the eighth if he's at home. You could hit the game winner at the bottom of the eighth. And then close out the game in the top of the ninth. Boom. Imagine if Otani Imagine what the what the history books would say if he got I don't know. Thirty home runs, thirty saves. Twenty five home runs, twenty five saves. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a cool stat. But yeah, they're they're starting him on Sunday. Which I feel like it's not a not a good move. I guess unless he wanted, I mean, unless he wanted to. But if he's medically healthy, I guess he's healthy. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. All right, there's our first autograph of this box. Reyes Moronta for the Giants. That'll be for big boys, 007. This guy's a big boy too. Although this is false. We look. Baseball reference says he's much heavier than that. Future Big Sexy right there, ladies and gentlemen. Future Big Sexy. I think there was a redemption here. Does anybody have any guesses on that redemption? A redemption right here. There it is. Any guesses on that redemption, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, the Phillies just walked it off. I 
out of 99. Rory guessing Acuna. Chris Bryant guessing TD. Nino guessing Walker Bueller. John Samuelson guessing Chance Sisko. David No wants an Otani. If it's Otani, it'd be a parallel. All right, so behind Ozzy Alvius, will it be his teammate? Will it be someone else? You are due to receive, ooh, a 1983 baseball autograph orange refractor parallel. Remember, these oranges are exclusive to the hobby editions, which we're doing right now, of K R I S B. <laughs> Chris Bryant. Look at that, TD. What a guess. You nailed it. That is awesome. Sorry it wasn't the Super Fractor that you wanted. TD said Super Fractor or nothing. Super Fractor, he's like, I'm done. Done with the hobby. No, he didn't say that. He just wanted one. This is close enough. The oranges are nice. Nice, a nice Jaspi Orange Refractor Parallel. Chris Bryant, Cubs TD. Nice hit. Yeah, I'll just send it to Rory. Yeah. He, did, he, does, he might not want it. All right, so... The Toronto Blue Jays ended up beating the Fish 6-5 to five in Miami. I won that game, but the walk-off hit that's... I don't know which Philly did it, but the walk-off home run that was just hit, I lose that one. I still have Minnesota leading 8-6 to six in Texas. That's right. I got these magic hands right here, TD. That's right. All right. We have a couple more of these hobby cases. We'll post another one in the store after this break. I, for I forgot to do it before I started. <laughs> Sorry. What does that go for? I don't know. What could that go for? I mean, obviously, it's not a rookie, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like a million dollars or anything like that. Like, But you know that refractor parallel? The orange refractor? People love those. And I do like that 1983, that old school uh, style that they're using this year. Oh, TD wants more. He's just like, time for the super. I believe. I believe in you. And if I pull the super thing. Um, oh, and John, before we, got, before we got rudely interrupted by that Chris Bryan orange refractor, before we got rudely interrupted, uh, your question about Zach Granite. No, we did not pull a Zach Granite or one per case Zach Granite yet. We did pull the first auto out of this case. Was a twin though. It was a, uh, it was uh, Fernando Romero. So you're already your twins are already on the the twins are already on the board. Nino's thinking about three hundred bucks. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. Yeah, if I pull the super of that, it's like it's like your 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 like obligation is to do the rainbow, build the rainbow from that set. It's a quest that you have to go on. That's the that's the blessing and the curse of getting a one of one. It's just, especially in a set like this. And with the 25 already in hand, All right. Next box. Good luck. We've got a fish autograph. Sandy Alcantara. All right. TD says, I will do the rainbow when, when I pull the super fractor. All right, there's Sandy Alcantara, Miami Marlins. That goes to Paul Harris and the Fish. And that's a gold, one out of 50. 
Jen Ho Sang. One out of 50, four TD, and the Cubs. Can't believe you guessed that TD. Everyone always does that. They have they have the Cubs or whatever. They're all like, oh yeah, that, totally, Chris Bryant. You know? Doesn't always turn out that way, though. Kyle Farmer for my Dodgers. Mike Koontz. Dodgers down two to the Snakes already. Come on, Snakes. Come on, Dodgers. Well, what is going on in that game, anyway? I forget who's starting. Is it Hyunjin Ryu that's starting? Yeah, it is Hyunjin Ryu. What are you doing? Giving up two runs in the first inning. Come on, man. Uh, we did pull a Reyes Moronta already, too, John Samuelson. He does feel like he's one per case as well. So it'd be I'm trying to I'm trying to find the Chris Bryant in that design. So you can kind of visually fig visually look at what that'll what that'll be like. There's Brian Anderson at a two ninety nine. Granky pitching against Dodgers tonight. Still early in the game for my Dodgers. All right, next box. Now, now Nino is conflicted. He's like, with the Bryant being pulled, can't decide whether he wants to go with Topps Chrome Baseball or with Gold Standard Football. Optus Prime, what's going on? Oh, what have you missed so much? Well, in this break, I mean, we can't recap the entire day, but in this break, you missed that. I've heard of that guy. That guy's pretty good. Sounds pretty nice. Rory's thinking maybe Rory has an alternative for you, Nino. What about some Cornerstones basketball? I'd like to do that. Yeah, that's pretty good, right, John Prine? Chris Bryant, not too shabby. TD got it. He's here in the house right now. He he was pretty excited. He wants a super fracture now. But his obligate if I pull him the 1983 baseball autograph super fracture parallel of Chris Bryant, he's he, he will be forced to do the rainbow. He's got to build the rainbow. I don't know what the different parallels are. Can I cut myself here? I think I did it on the box. Time out, folks. Injury. Injury timeout. Workers' comp. You know what the boss man would say? If I asked about workers' comp, he'd, he'd say, he'd say, he would say, um, go put a Band-Aid on it. Boss man's, an, boss man's an old school, old school Navy guy. 
He's gonna be like, put a band-aid on workers' comp. Put some put a band-aid on that. That's what'll happen. I didn't even notice it until, until I saw saw my DNA pour, pouring out of there. <laughs> the brakes must go on, ladies and gentlemen. The brakes must go on. All right. Next one, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder how this affects my... There's J.D. Davis. All right, J.D. Davis for the Astros. TD with the Strohs. It makes it kind of difficult to move the card. I didn't realize how important my thumb was, ladies and gentlemen. In case breaks. I can't lose a thumb, boys and girls. It's harder to I'm gonna have to use I'm gonna have to use the back of my hand. <laughs> right, Paul Hudgens. This, this job is as dangerous, this is as, like the deadliest catch. You just never know what's gonna happen. You never know. I could get got at any time. Could get got. We've got a green Miguel Cabrera, 29 out of 99. That'll be for the Tigers. John Mortlaro with the Tigres. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. There it is. Tom Snito for David Shaw. Hunter Renfro and Jose Altuve. All right, next box. I think it happened. I think I know where it happened. I think it happened on the on the box edge or something like that. Sometimes, sometimes there's a there's a sharp edge that might poke out right here. All right, here you can get you can get God at any time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a dangerous, dangerous hobby that we're in, just like Deadliest Catch. All right, after this box, we'll be halfway through this full 12-box break, ladies and gentlemen, hobby edition of Topps Chrome Baseball. Um, after this break, there'll be another pick your team in the store. So if you want to pick your teams, run this back tonight or tomorrow, we can definitely do it. So give it a shot. Two autographs per box plus special orange parallels in the hobby edition. Good times. No change in the score. Does anyone know what's going on in that that uh, that Chicago game there? Red Sox at White Sox. Red Sox at White Sox. Bottom of the third. It's in a delay. I don't know. Maybe that game's not starting up again. It's already. What, what time is it? 
7:45 on the West Coast. It's 9:45 on the East Coast or on the in Central Time. Hmm. They may be able to get that game in. If the rain is stopping soon, anyone have a re a weather report from Chicago? Allen needs a Ryan McMahon auto, then he can call it a night. That's right. You'd have one auto for each team. You'd be set. Everything else would be a cherry on top. Ah. We got a report from from DS saying that uh the Sox will have a doubleheader tomorrow, according to Nesson. All right. So that game's done. There's Aaron Judge. And for the Rangers, we've got, for Justin Gable, Ronald Herrera. Autograph. The Herrera going to Justin and the Rangers. We're still down to the Twins, 8-6, to six in the uh, top of the seventh. And we got Tommy Pham. That card is gold. 44 out of 50 for Allen and the Cardinals. Nice gold shimmer wave thing. Looks cool. And Curie Maya for David Shaw and the Reds, Red Legs, with an autograph. Out of four ninety nine. We've got an Alex Reyes out of 299. Poor Alex Reyes. And a couple a couple of years in a row just can't can't really get get healthy. Supposed to be one of the better pros pitching prospects for the Cardinals. Optimus Prime reporting that the Blue Jays traded Josh Donaldson to the tribe. If he's healthy. If he's healthy, Josh Donaldson could be could be pretty pretty huge. I think somehow sometimes we almost forget how good. Well, maybe people don't, but I feel like the average the casual fan may forget just forget just how good Josh Donaldson is. Only like two years ago. So if he could be, I mean, he was like when he won that MVP. Well, he was a uh, just to use a broad statistic, an eight war, seven war player maybe wins above replacement, and um, I mean even if you get even if you get half that from Josh Donaldson, I'll take that. That's pretty crazy. And the Brew Crew, G JD and Rory, reporting that the Brewers are going to get Gio Gonzalez. Interesting. Brewers do need that. Do need a little starting, some starting pitching help. Did the Brewers play today? I don't think I saw them on the schedule today. Oh, they already, they already beat the uh, Nationals, actually, 4-1. Hi, Austin. Um, well, there's actually no, no real schedule right now. It's just, uh, it'll just be, I don't know, we're kind of trying to figure that out, I think. But nothing's sold out. I think Gold Standard's been filling up. 
think people want, may want to do that afterwards. Maybe move to some uh, hoops after that. Cornerstones, perhaps. Yeah, do you think they're going to... Are, is Vlad Jr. or Bo Bichette gonna get gonna get a September call up at all, or are they are they just gonna wait until April? I guess there is the service time clock. They may not want to start that until <clears throat> as late as possible, like a month into next season, which is probably what will happen. All right, next box, ladies and gentlemen. All right, speaking of the Blue Jays, there's Richard Urena. Where does he fit in? That goes to, it's got the Blue Jays in this one, Justin Gable with the Blue Jays. 95 out of 250. Wait, where does Bo Bichette play? Vlad Jr. is a third baseman, right? Somewhere on that side of the infield. And then we've got, nice, the one per case medallion, rookie debut medallion, Nick Williams. Nick Williams for the Phillies. That's for Eric Rittenhouse. 7 out of 99 on that one. Nice. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. We've got an orange Domingo Santana. 7 out of 25. Love these orange parallels. Brew Crew with that one. And that'll go to Sanford and the Brewers. Nice. And Jackson Stevens is your second auto out of here. David Shaw with the Reds. It's a nice box right here. Oh, so Bo Bichette is a shortstop. So what are they going to do? Where does, where does this guy play? Yeah, Bl Blue Jays have a, have a couple exciting... Next year, Nino and other, other fans of the Blue Jays. Blue Jays will be expensive and pick your teams next year. And another orange, Harrison Bader orange. 22 out of 25, nice one for the Cardinals, Alan Murdoch. <laughs> he was like, please don't remind me, I know. Just so trying to give you a heads up. You've got until, well, I wanna know, when's, when's the first 2019 product start to release? Yeah, it'll be a battle for the Blue Jay spot, that is for sure. You know, Nino, that, um, and everybody else, that uh, that baseball mixer, I think, has... That baseball mixer has a couple uh, 2016 Bowman baseball boxes. One's draft, one's regular. I think one of those, one of those has Bo Bichette autographs in there.
So if you get lucky enough to get randomized the Blue Jays, that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on, cross your fingers for. They've got other, don't they have other other kids of former ball players? Do they have a Biggio there? I know they have a Clemens there, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if the the Clemens kid, Casey Clemens, maybe, is as highly touted as um as highly touted as some of the other guys, but oh, you do guys, you guys do have a Biggio, Caven Biggio, man. That'll that'll be if all the what if all those guys are on the field? I mean, that'll be kind of a. That would kind of be a blast from the past. That would mess with a lot of people's heads, I think. Nice. So Nino saying that Biggio is hitting well right now, trying to scoop up his first Bowman Chrome auto. Nice. Hey, that it's that's good for the Blue Jays. Can't just be the uh, can't just be can't just be Red Sox uh, Red Sox Yankees all the time. Got to have a, a another threat there. Get some of those young guys in there. And uh, Blue, Jay Blue Jays can spend a little bit. Blue Jays have the ability to spend a little bit. Get those young guys settled in. Maybe go for a couple big free agents at some point a few years later. You know, at that point, Yankees and Red Sox can't sign all of those guys. So that might be the right time for... The Blue Jays to strike. 81 out of 150, David Robertson. And Victor Carantini for the Cubs. TD with the Cubs. This, this is true. Yeah, somehow the Yankees do have money to spend. It's actually kind of crazy. The Yankees have somehow ha have somehow accumulated all these young players that seem to be doing really well. They actually have, after years and years and maybe decades of, of leading baseball in payroll, I, don't, I think they may have only cracked the top 10 in overall payroll like in the last year or two. Because they've got... A lot of young guys, and they're going to have expiring contracts, so they're actually going to be in a pretty good financial position to maybe, nice Walker Bueller, to maybe uh, pay a lot of those guys that are on that team, which is crazy. Uh, Mike Koontz with my Dodgers. Nice. He'll be starting... Uh, Sunday, I think. I think it's Kershaw tomorrow. So it's Hyunjin Ru tonight. Kershaw tomorrow, I think. And then it'll be um, Walker Bueller on Sunday. Dodgers scratching back a run in the bottom of the third. So yeah, Dodgers need to get at least a split in that series. That's right. Out of, uh, what was it? Out of high tech. That one of one uh, Tulo Blue Jays edition. That was pretty nice. It doesn't always work out that way. It was uh, John Optimus Prime was, was, we had a few boxes left and Optimus Prime was like, come on, there, we go. This has got to be one of the teams that has to be comboed because, you know, they're not hitting, blah, blah, blah. And usually at that point, my general shtick is you got to play the whistle and this and that. 
And usually it doesn't work out like that. And usually it doesn't work out, and they're like, ah, skunked in this break again. But literally, at that, that very moment, which was kind of funny, at, the very, at that very moment, out pops, uh, it wasn't autographed. I wish it was autographed. Uh, but out pops out a nice high-tech one-of-one, Troy Tulowitzki for the Blue Jays. No, it wasn't a last spot mojo team. But, you know, it's, it, ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest challenges of, of any case breaker, and this is, this is kind of the things that, uh, that, that, you know, this is like kind of, if I pull the curtain back kind of thing, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult to, uh, it's pretty difficult to price teams. And it's, it's easier to do to price random teams, obviously. It's, it's just an average of all the teams, but then at that point, it's hard to combo the teams. And I think everyone has their own ideas on what teams should be comboed and what teams shouldn't be comboed. But we've been doing it for we've been doing this for a minute or two. I think we're I think pretty good with our with our comboing. But some people just say, oh. Man. That's got to be combo just because they're not hitting. And it's like, well, if it hits and does not become a combo team, I don't know. Maybe the Blue Jays still are a good combo team. You know what I mean? But, but really, at the end of the day, if it hits, it's a good team. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but really, at some point, you just you kind of have to. Just do your best. Most people, most breakers just do their best with any random team combo teams and just kind of roll with it. Otherwise, you, you might be changing combo teams every break. You just can't do that. I mean, if it's close enough, then I think most breakers just go with it. But it is kind of funny. I mean, usually when, it's, when people aren't hitting is when they're like, oh, these teams should be comboed. There's Brandon Woodruff. There's there's no Otani autographs. We should lower the price of the Angels. Brandon Woodruff goes to the Brew Crew. Sanford with the Brewers. It's tough. No, I mean everyone. Listen, you're Jonathan Prime. You're not the only. You're not the only person that does it. I'm sure everyone does it, either publicly or privately. <laughs> you know, it happens, but it's part of the game. You got, just got to just got to roll with it. Nikki Del Monaco for the White Sox. John Samuelson for the White Sox, whose game it looks like has been postponed till tomorrow. Double double heading it tomorrow, or I guess that game was canceled, like rained out, and then I guess they'll just do it again tomorrow. Are they starting in the third inning tomorrow? How does that work? All right, yeah, Jonathan Prime saying, Optimus Prime saying, that's exactly what I do. I, I, I love doing random teams. It, it, yeah, it does even it out a little bit. That's a nice Corey Seager parallel. That's Kent Maeda. There's Aaron Althier out of 299 for the Phillies. I think breaking in general is great because, you know, there are plenty of different, you know, plenty of different channels that you can experience things in a different way, you know. And I think that's nice. Some guys, some guys will do full cases. Some guys will do one box. Some guys will do random teams more often, pick your teams more often. But I think it's a, it's a good time for the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good time for the hobby. All right, three boxes left.
Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because every year, every year, there's going to be a team that's going to be super expensive, and so sometimes that's when the random teams will help. Although for whatever reason, the random teams just they don't like we had this this twelve box hobby break available as a random team, and we we would it would take. It would take days for us to fill a full case, hobby case, random team break of this. We posted this pick your team earlier today. It sold out tonight. So, no Padres yet, Paul Hutchins. Still got a few boxes to go. Who are the who are their autographs? I think they got one or two autographs in the in their. In their arsenal, right? What, so the expensive teams next year, Nino? Well, Yankees and Dodgers and Red Sox will always be expensive just because of their... Just because of... Um, oh, yeah, you're talking about expensive teams. Just, just in terms of their... Uh, they've, they've got such a deep catalog, you know what I mean? Obviously, they're in big media markets, so a lot of lot more people are the de the demand for them a little more higher. Uh, yeah, on your Blue Jays, unfortunately, will probably be a big depending on how Topps decides to roll out those, because maybe they'll they'll do they'll go big on Vladimir Guerrero this year and decide to, you know, maybe put Bo Bichette in the following year. Remember they did that with Chris Bryant and Kyle Schwarber. They kind of split them up in the year in the calendar year. They could do that, or they might just roll them out in both. They roll both of them out in, in the same year. Angels, no, I think the Angels next year will be significantly lower. It'll still be a little, little more on the expensive side, but, but I think the Angels will be a little bit lower because it's not Otani's rookie year. I think the next time, the so it'll be significantly lower. I mean, his autographs will still sell well, but. You know, there there just won't be a lot of Otani's, and you know we barely see any Mike Trout's, right? So Angels will be and kind of be back down to a mid-range team, I think, as they kind of have been. I think it won't change that much. Well, JD saying Braves are loaded. Yeah, uh, do they have any big rookies coming up? There's Andrew Stevenson. See, it'll all just depend on those big rookies. Andrew Stevenson for Rick T and the Nats. There you go, Rick. I got to respond to one of your emails, Rick. I was going to say I haven't forgotten, but I did forget <laughs> until I was reminded by your name. Um, it all really all depends on the rookies. But, yeah, I don't know who the big rookies are going to be next year. Who's going to get called up next year, I guess, is really what we're asking, right? Who's going to get called up and make an impact like Ronald Acuna Jr.? like Ozzy Albius, who weren't really hyped up that much before the season, but they definitely made an impact early in the season. I think Juan Soto came out of nowhere, so actually Nationals might be a little expensive next year because they'll probably put, we'll probably see a lot of Juan Soto for next year, right, as a rookie for next year, even though he's not a rookie. Because we don't, I don't think we've seen too many of his rookie cards. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle that. Oh, they got a lot of pitchers in Austin Riley. And then I'm trying to think I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think of some some of the other sort of bigger names coming up. 142 out of 150, Jack Flaherty. It always tends to be the offensive players that seem to do a little bit better. No disrespect to the season Jack Flaherty's been having. Another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Optimus Prime's on the hunt for some Javier Baez, Yachty. And J.J. Barea. 
Oh, your girl trained with JJ and is in the same city as the other two in Puerto Rico. Oh, nice. There's got to be some. Maybe in the, maybe in the uh, maybe in our Facebook group there might be someone who could who could help you out. Uh, T, there's TD's one of one. He says Walker Bueller says Nino. Yeah, his parallels are redemptions. Chance Cisco is the common one. Yes, that could be it. Henry Rowan Gardner, perhaps. You are due to receive a rookie autograph refractor parallel. Of R, did Card Blasters get it? O N Ronald McDonald M Ronald Acuna Sanford gets it. Nice. That's Eric Rittenhouse and the Braves. We were just talking about him. Here he comes. All right, there you go. Good luck, everybody. Two boxes to go. I don't think there's any other finals. I think Pittsburgh... I don't think we did. We call the Pittsburgh game. Pittsburgh in Atlanta. They they beat the Braves three two. Blue Jays. Oh no, we already talked about that. No, no other games are there. Three games that are close to ending. Twins have now increased their lead in Texas ten to six. In the top of the ninth, Angels still leading, still leading the Astros three nothing. And bottom of the eighth in St. Louis. Cardinals leading the Reds eight to five. And other games are just in the third between the third and fifth innings. Oh, is he out for the season? Or only out for this season? The rest of this season. Yeah, for Ta Fernando Tatis Jr., I think is gonna be is gonna be like the next. I mean, that's like the next big big name, like Acuna level type name. I think. When's he gonna get called? I think he should be expected to be called up. Maybe as early as next year, or maybe the year after that. But everyone's saying he's the he's the real deal. Oh yeah, Kyle Tucker on the Astros. That could be another big one too for next year. Isn't he already playing a little bit this year? Kyle Tucker would be good. There's the one per case, Zach Granite for John Samuelson and the Twins. So a couple Twinkies autos for you. In this one, plus that Nikki Delmonico from earlier in the White Sox. It's kind of a misprint right there. I thought that was a second card that hiding back there. Yeah, John Samuelson relieved. There's Max Fried for the Bravos, 30 out of 75. That'll go to Eric Rittenhouse. John was like, I thought I was going to be the only one not to get a Zach Granite auto out of these breaks. I'm pretty sure he's been, he's been one per case. 
You know, earlier, um, JD, earlier this year when we were doing Bowman baseball, I think, Bowman draft, something like that, we saw a lot of Luis Robert popping out of the, uh, popping out as redemptions. Um, have not seen a lot of Eloy Jimenez. I've surprised, somewhat surprisingly, I think we've seen more, a little more Eloy Jimenez in, um, as a White Sox in uh, in Panini sets, I feel like for some reason, not as much at, not as much in tops yet. And there's Hunter Wood for the Rays. Two twelve out of two fifty. All right, so we got our two autographs. Any parallels? A lot of parallel. Any serial number parallels? No. That Capital One commercial, where the uh, the old guys are. Are, are, are arguing and one guy calls him a nincompoop and then all of a sudden he gets a notification on his phone that he got the Louisiana purchase for uh for all, for 14 for almost 15 million dollars I looked it up on the Wikipedia now and Wikipedia of course never lies uh, the L Louisiana purchase was purchased by us for 15 million dollars that commercial historically accurate ish of course that's without inflation. With inflation now, I think it's hundreds of billions of dollars. <laughs> so that Louisiana purchase was a, was a lot of money. What did France need the money for? Probably some war. Yeah, see, in case I got it from Napoleon, sweet deal. Was he funding a war? Was that what it was? Is that why he gave up that huge chunk of land? Probably a bargain at the time. Yeah, they were, they were warring, I think. Warring. Trying to pay for the wars. They missed out on that whole middle part of Middle America. They missed out on Middle America. The heartland. Oh, Nap oh, Napoleon. When will when will you learn? When will you learn? Imagine that. For those of you who are who are living in the in the Midwest, for those of you living in the Midwest, you could have been all speaking French. Wait, did he really have to go invade Russia in the winter? Oh, Napoleon. Can't do that. Everyone knows that. Can't open this last pack. There we go. Mike Tower says should have done a spot random for it. $15 million. Louisiana. Name on top gets the Louisiana purchase. What are the, what are the consolation prize? Or just no consolation prize? 30 spots? 15 million divided by 30. Name on top gets it. There's Felix Jorge. We started the break with Felix Jorge in the first box. And in the last box, we have a Felix Jorge. That's true. Good point, CMK. Everyone knows that now to not, to not go, to not do that. All right, one more autograph to go plus parallels. Good luck, everybody. And the second autograph is going to be an Oriole, Tanner Scott. Tanner Scott for the O's. Jared on the board with the Orioles. There you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.
You got two, actually, John Samuelson. There's one at the beginning of the break. Oh, that's what your Chris Bryant will look like. TD. Except orange. Zabra Pujols, he's out for the season with an injury. His career, maybe. They may just release him. But that go, but what a great career. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't find that Ryan McMahon, Alan, but I thought he was going to pop out of here. All right, well, thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Pick your team one. Hobby, pick your team number one in the books. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think we have two or three more cases of this left. So we'll post another pick your team right after this. Get your teams. Pick your teams. And we'll do another break of this soon. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.